असलम स्टूडेंट्स इस वीडियो में हम वर्क पावर एंड एनर्जी की डेफिनेशन को देखेंगे हमारे uh, पास एक फोर्स एफ एक्टिंग ऑन ए पार्टिकल पोजिशन वेक्टर एट एनी टाइम टी फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ओ और हमारे पास अगर ये पॉइंट पी हो हमारा जो पोजिशन वेक्टर है उसको हम लेट से आर से डिनोट करते हैं सो वी हैव टू फाइंड अ फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन अ पार्टिकल उस पोजिशन वैक्टर इज आर इट प्रोड्यूस अ डिसप्लेसमेंट अगर ये हमारे पास पॉइंट पी पे था और हमने कोई फोर्स उस पर अप्लाई किए हैं तो ये डिसप्लेसमेंट हमारे पास डी आर थी इस पार्टिकल पे हुई है और देन इट रिचेज इज पॉइंट क्यू देन द वर्क डन बाय द दिस फोर्स इज इक्वल टू डी डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू दिस फोर्स एंड द डार्क प्रोडक्ट विथ डी एफ आर दैट इज डिसप्लेसमेंट so the amount of work done by f is the force in moving the particle from let's say agar hum ek hai ki point p1 se isne point p2 tak move kiya hai along this path so the total work done will be this force is acting from p1 to p2 and f dot d r so this will become and when we was p1 tha p1 pe hum first kare hamara jo position vector hai this is r1 aur p2 pe hamara jo position vector hai this will be r2 so hum isko likh sakte hain this will be from r1 to r2 on f dot d r so this is the work done uh, now we have the quantity of power so this power is equal to b w by dt so this is the change of work done with respect to time this is called the power and this is applied to the particle uh, thus the power is the rate of working on the particle and hamare paas agar hum is equation se dekhein d w is equal to f dot d r se so hum isko likh sakte hain is equation ko agar hum likhein d w by dt This will become f dot dr by dt. So you know what is dr by dt? This is uh, velocity. That's the change of displacement with respect to time is velocity. So this is the velocity of particle at time t. Or if we have this particle of mass m, so we have this quantity at the end, which is Half m v square. Now uh, this tau is called the kinetic energy of the particle. The speed is v at time t, right? So यहाँ पे हमारे पास work done हमने देखा क्या है, which is this one power हमने देखी and this is the kinetic energy. अब हम एक relationship देखते हैं, which is again the theorem. So this theorem states that the total work done on a particle is moving it along a curve c. From P1 to P2, uh, जैसा कि हमने ये लास्ट फिगर में देखा था फ्रॉम पॉइंट P1 वन टू पी टू दिस इज इक्वल टू द डिफरेंस इन द कैनाटिंग एनर्जी ऑफ दैट टा टू माइनस टा वन वे टा वन एंड टा टू आर द कैनाटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द पार्टिकल एट आई टी वन एंड टी टू करस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस पोजिशन पी वन एंड पी टू सो What we have to find is that the total work done, which uh, is that, is equal to the difference of the kinetic energy between the two points. Now we go to the proof side. 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 R one, R two, F dot D R. Ah, uh, so the force we have is what? What is F is equal to m a, so which can be written as m into d b by d t. So now we have to write here m d b by d t. Into dr. 
uh, which can then be known as R1, R2, and the R by dt and dv. Uh, this dr by dt is, you know, is the velocity. So this will be the R1, R2, and dt. Velocity into dv. Uh, now, if we integrate this, uh, so this will become v squared divided by 2 and the limits are r1 and r2. Now, uh, so we will multiply the limits, so this will become half m v2 squared. minus half and v1 square. So this v2 is a velocity at the point p2 and this v1 is a velocity at point p. Or ye half mv square on dekata ke this ta is equal to half mv square which is a kinetic energy. So you can write this as so 2 minus ta 1. So now the work done is, what we have to prove is the total work done on a particle in moving it a curve from point P1 to P2 is equal to tau 2 minus T tau 1. Now we have a corollary that the rate of increase of kinetic energy of a particle is equal to the power applied to the particle. So uh, I pass, uh, what is the kinetic energy? This is equal to half mv squared. Uh, we have to check that the rate of increase so this with respect to the time is this is equal to half into 2 m v and dv by dt now this 2 is cancelled with this 2 and we can think this v come outside and m dv by dt So this is equal to v dot m a and which is equal to v dot force. And you know that uh, we have a power, power is equal to dw by dt or dw by dt is equal to f dot v. So f dot v can be written as the p. So this can be written as p. So, uh, what we had to prove is the rate of increase of the kinetic energy of a particle is equal to the power applied to the particle.